Casey. How are you today? Ah, fantastic, me too. Today we are going to talk about past actions. Things that have happened in the past. Yesterday, last week, last month, last year. I can see lots of pictures. Today I would say the girl climbs the tree. Yesterday, the girl climbs the tree? No. Yesterday, the girl climbed the tree. What about the girl here? She texts on her phone. Yesterday, she texted on her phone. Let's see what other words you remember. Cook, cooked. The grandma cooks. Yesterday, she cooked. For cook, we can add ed. When we can add ed to a verb, that is called a regular verb. Wash, washed. Today, the man washes the car. Yesterday, he washed the car. ed, a regular verb. Invite, invited. Today I invite, yesterday I invited. Cry, cried. Today I cry, yesterday I cried. Help, helped. Today I help, yesterday I helped. Cooked, washed, invited. Cried, helped. Plant, planted. Today I plant, yesterday I planted. Shout, shouted. Today I shout, yesterday I shouted. Climb, climbed. Climb, planned. Email, emailed. Email, emailed. Text, texted. Text, texted. So for all of these verbs, we can add ed to them to make them past tense. Fly, flew. But this verb is a bit different. We wouldn't say yesterday I fly somewhere. This is an irregular verb. Yesterday I flew somewhere. Give, gave. Yesterday I gave him money. Lose, lost. Yesterday I lost my wallet. Wake up, woke up. Yesterday I woke up. These are all irregular verbs. We cannot add ed to them. Get dressed. Got dressed. Today I get dressed. Yesterday I got dressed. Think. Thought. Yesterday I thought about the animals in the zoo. Eat. Eight. Yesterday, I ate bread, eggs for breakfast. Now we're going to play a game. We're going to read the text, choose the right words, and write them on the lines. This is an example. I had a very good weekend. On Saturday, I went to my grandparents' house. I helped mm clean their house. Grandparents. How many grandparents do we have normally? Well, we might have two grandparents or four grandparents. We're talking about grandparents with us. We're talking about more than one. Then, her or him. I helped them more than one. I helped them clean their house. I planted some flowers. Mmm, 
I climbed a big tree. I planted some flowers. Then I climbed a big tree. When I climbed a big tree. Then I climbed a big tree. Then I climbed a big tree. After that, mmm, grandma invited me to stay for dinner. Our grandma, mine grandma, my grandma. My grandma. She cooked mmm food for me and I ate it all. She cooked many food for me, a lot of food for me, much food for me. She cooked a lot of food for me. Now at home, I'd like you to read the rest and see if you can fill in the words yourself. Now we're going to play another game. I can see a picture of an invite. It is for a birthday party. We're going to listen and write. There is one example. Her best friend's name is Vicky. I just emailed my best friend. Oh really? Which friend did you email? I emailed Vicky. Who? You know, Vicky, my best friend from school. V-I-C-K-Y. Oh yes, now I remember her. So now we're going to look at number one and we're going to be listening for her email address. You can see if you can write this down at home as we're listening. What is her email address? It is Vicky0517 at mnet.com. 0517? Yes, at mnet.com. Vicky0517 at mnet.com. Where does Vicky live? She lives on Palm Street. Is that near the park? Yes, it is. Her house is just opposite the park. How do you spell palm? P A L M Palm. Palm Street, number three. What did you say in your email? I thanked her for coming to my party last week. How many friends did you invite? I invited 13 of my classmates. I invited 13 of my classmates to my party last week. How did you invite them? I invited seven of my friends through email and I texted the others on their phones. Number six. When is your birthday? It's on the 2nd of March. The 7th of March? No, the 2nd of March. 2nd of March. Number seven, did anybody help? Did anybody help you? Yes, my mother cooked some party food for us. My friends ate it all, it was so delicious. My father helped clean up the house and I washed all the dishes. And then last question. I am sure everyone had a good time. What did your friends think of the party? They all thought it was a lot of fun. And those are all the answers. I hope you got them right. See you again soon.
see you. Bye-bye.